It is just a spectacular view. The tether has broken at the uh, at the boom. The tether has broken. It is going away from us. Thank you, Carla. Uh, we'll start with questions here at headquarters before we go to the master center. Either foreign object penetration, foreign to the tether, or a defect in the tether itself breached this very thin insulation layer. And a breach can be very small as well, under a millimeter. And that breach resulted in arcing and burning. And as the arc continued, it burned away most of the tether material, especially the strength material. And eventually, after about nine seconds of this arcing and burning, uh, the tether separated. Ground plane moved it away from the tether. And again, the arcing burning with 15 pounds of brakes. And you can see here the products of combustion and if you can't prevent contamination, maybe it's perhaps it's not possible the way this was made. So it's no fault of anybody. Perhaps it's the it's the it's the uh, type of tether that was made. And if you can't do it any cleaner, maybe you have to do it differently. So, uh, but contamination is absolutely uh, a no-no in high voltage systems. Uh, nothing about flight operations is involved. I'm certainly relieved that it wasn't pilot or commander error. Yes. 